All right. Ian, uh, the analog pocket uh, pre-orders Yikes. first batch came out uh, August 3rd, uh, Monday. Uh, I, I rolled off, off the couch at like 8.15 a.m. And I was like, oh, let's check what's going on on Twitter. And boy, it was a, it was a thing to see the the, uh, the reaction to the analog pocket uh, pre-order selling out within under 15 minutes. So, yeah. And um, we talked about the analog pocket before uh, last week. We gave it a hand job last week or the week before. Yeah. I, Two weeks ago. I need to say this now. Of all the things I'm going to say, the actual unit looks great. And I'm very excited for it it's great looking hardware um i was lucky enough to get one i i was up at 3 a.m yesterday for i have no idea what fucking reason and i couldn't go back to bed so i was like fuck it we're gonna we're gonna throw our hat in the ring here um i had always said that this was one that i was definitely going to try for um my love of portable gaming is well known if there's one product you wanted to get in this fpga market it would be this it would be this and it's true um i mean I, i when i talk about my favorite systems i say pc engine and game boy but a fpga pc engine um when i've already got a you know a a, a pc engine duo r hooked up to you know a, an upscaler it, it i would still want one but it's not nearly as exciting as an actual new portable i mean there's something exciting about that with with a you know a really nice screen sure. um you know fpga inside and uh you know uh, adapters coming out that'll let you and play the, and the music stuff for you right exactly i it's, thought the, i thought the gb studio thing was brilliant to get people to even start to learn about game yeah. dev i talked to our, our buddy daniel they might use that gb studio for like an intro class because like you can drag and drop and look under the hood to see what the code's actually doing right you know things like that so um i think this thing looks great however the uh the, the pre-order uh process yesterday was a nightmare and i do think analog really needs to think going forward about how they are going to do this so they're saying that things sold out in 15 minutes it was less than that um i got my uh stuff in my cart went to check out at like 801 um the the pre-orders went up at 759 according to my phone it was actually a minute early we're hitting f5 you're like like that or I, no actually i like i got there it was 759 i hit f5 once and it was right there and i was like okay so um my i got it in the cart and the problem that everyone has talked about happened to me um the website got hammered and the shipping calculator hung um there's like a weird like real-time shipping calculator that like takes your address and calculates the cost and it just the circle just kept spinning um some people were saying they waited five to seven minutes uh, was I, getting pounded probably yeah i actually didn't know what the fuck was happening and thought maybe i'd put my address in wrong so i went back and forth and refreshed a few times and finally got it so i hit purchase and uh immediately um and i guess this happens this has happened to a lot of people when pre-ordering analog stuff immediately got a note uh, a message on my computer screen and i normally don't get them on my screen i usually get them on my phone um uh bank of america canceled the charge because i thought it was going to be uh, they thought it was a fraudulent charge. So you, so you had to like put it in a type in something and say, no, it's okay. So I had to pull up my phone. I had to go into the app. I had to scroll through all my purchases over the past day and check each one. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, really? Yes. And then hit okay. Oh. It reactivated my card. Then I went oh. back and I hit order again. And surprisingly, uh, I got it. What did you get? What did you order? I ordered the... Um, the white one, the dock, and a screen protector. I forgot to grab the Game Gear adapter somehow, but maybe by not taking the extra two seconds to throw something in my cart, I, I it got me yeah, that's the just, order. Yeah, you're still going to be able to play three consoles out, right. out of the box. I'll get a Game Gear adapter at some point. It's not a big deal. I'm sure they'll make more. Um, but so anyways, what I'm trying to get at, though, is the confirmation email was sent to me at 8.08. I immediately went to Twitter um, and saw that it was a fire and a shit show. And like it, the first thing I saw was, um, I think it was the, the guy from HD Retrovision. Um, they make those those great cables. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, he was like, oh, it's sold out. So and eight that's Pat rolled out of bed off the couch and was like, oh, let's go on, man. I can order this because... Ian and I, I guess, in our in our naivety, 
thought that with a pre-order nine months ahead of time that it would be an open pre-order. Um, and I guess with everything going on, that's not the case, but there was no indication with the marketing and all the hype that this would be something that would sell out so quickly. And, and that, I think that's why people are annoyed. That's that's my problem. Um, my problem is not, and like I said, I, I, I don't want to sound like an asshole. I got one, I'm happy. That's the end of that. Um, I didn't. <laughs> but I do, yeah, I do feel bad for the people who wanted one who didn't get it. And I realize that analog is operating, especially right, I mean, they're, they are a unique company selling boutique items to a specific group of hobbyists, but their stuff has gotten fucking popular because they make good stuff. This is their, f uh, if you don't count the original NT, this is the fourth major product. Right. They've done FPGA. And all of them get great reviews and all of them sell well. Um, so I do feel like they should have known that this was going to be popular. Now, maybe they did. Maybe they had to limit the pre-orders because of um, supply, you know, supply problems during, um, you know, this public sure. health crisis. And I do think that there is some there's there's especially because we're not we're not just talking about um, a system and a board. We're talking about, you know, something that has a screen as well. There's a lot of stuff that's going into this. Yes. Yes. Supplies can be limited. Uh, I do think that there is some uh, there's a disconnect. Yes. There's 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 a there's a disconnect. I, what I, I and I think I think things like artificial scarcity, when people say that, I think it's a bit overplayed because this is a small company. They want to make money. Yes. They want to make money. I don't think there's a huge benefit to them playing the artificial scarcity game. What upsets me is that it would have been very easy for them a week ago when they announced that things were going up for pre-order on the third. They announced, well, they announced, they announced on the, on the, they announced the 22nd was the pre-announcement for the 27th and yes yeah, so it was two weeks ago they had many opportunities to be like hey everyone temper your expectations it's going to be a small pre-order run due because, to the pandemic we can't do what we want because to do. of supplies yeah, yeah we can't make as many as we want but i also understand that they're a company they got to get some money going people want the product i get it but it, fuck it, communicate yes communicate um, with your customers. There was no reason to not say, is this an open pre-order? Is this a limited pre-order? By them not saying anything, I had actually, and I told you this on the phone, I had actually convinced myself the night before that, no, that's going to be an open pre-order. You said in the podcast, I said yeah. with the amount of hype, and then they did a, pro they paid to promote tweets, uh, the tweets on Twitter. They're right. promoted. Yeah. To me, you don't do that unless you want the situation to happen right if you've got I a mean, if you've got I, uh, I, I, I i can only believe so much feigned naivety over oh we had we didn't know it was going to be popular no you I, did you well, didn't need to okay. do a promoted I, tweet I, I for something i can't kill analog uh, uh, entirely because obviously their products are good yes well let's, um, but i mean their pre-announcement tweet with just a, the green screen the pre-announcement announcement got 2600 likes on twitter just for that Right, and then you fast forward a week later to the actual announcement uh, tweet thread uh, a week later on the 27th, and that was uh, insane. Where is it? Just the one that said pre-order was 3.8 thousand likes. The one that says, oh, pre-order August 3rd there. And I might be missing one, but the one they promoted was gigantic. The amount of likes on it was insane. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, where is it? Uh, where's, where is it? Oh, it's the one that's still pinned, the one they promoted. 13,700 likes on Twitter. Right. That's like holy shit numbers for anything on Twitter. But for a product like this, if there's 13,000 likes for something, to me, I I don't even you your person like likes tweets. I don't I rarely like tweets. I'll do I'll retweet stuff. So you combine with the retweets, this is like you're getting up to like 19,000 people that have at least interacted with the tweet yeah just not even seen it interacted with the tweet this this is tens of thousands of people that are potentially wanting this product right which is obviously probably more than they could have imagined versus the mega sg or the super nt i don't have the numbers for those but those were open uh you know pre-orders on those um and you can get those readily uh, well now the nt sold out no, this, well you can't get the uh, super, NT. super nt sold out right now sure but you can get it for a while Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. and they'll, and they'll redo them, and that's the thing. They came out after this all happened, and they said that they're going to make more, and they will. Um, 
I, but I, we don't know what when that second batch is going to be. We don't know when that second batch is going to yeah. be. But I, I do think that people who want one of these, I think Analog is, 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 is I mean, obviously a smart company. They're going, uh, in many ways, they're going to look at this and they're going to go, okay, we need to make more. And I think they're going to do what they can to make sure that everyone who wants one ends up getting one. But it is very frustrating um, to... To, to see it happen the way it did yesterday. So, and like I said, I mean, to, to really sum up what I'm saying, I think the product looks great. I'm excited about it. I'm excited for it to show up. I've, my experience with their products has been great. Um, I don't think there's anything really as secretive or as nefarious as no. some people say. I don't think there's, I don't think they're playing some scarcity game. I honestly don't. I think they need to get better, much better at talking to their Customers. Yeah, that's all. I mean, it's, it's, it's a PR thing. You get something to do your PR if you're not comfortable with it or, or the marketing uh, of it. Just, I mean, the marketing was actually super stupendous. It's just the communication of, hey, guys, we're, we're going to have two batches. The first one will be smaller. The second one will be bigger maybe later because of the pandemic. And most people will be like, okay, that's fair. Yeah, but like me and Ian, soften the, the blow. Me, me, and, me and Ian saying, "Oh, this is, this is, they have to do an open pre-order. So there's a huge amount of interest," and we were we were we were thrown off by that. We were wrong on that about it. So like, and, and uh, like I said, from a from a like a, from a supply, I, you know, thinking back on it, okay, yeah, we're, uh, odd times from a supply perspective, sure, maybe they can't, but we're that, so far but in then advance. Say so, that, announce it. Yeah, we're nine months ahead of the right. release date. So I was thinking of two things. First of all, let's see what uh, IGN reached out to Analog in there, and they said Shop, Shopify shipping calculator was slowed down by immense traffic we will have a solution in the future we apologize to those who experience their issues they use the shopify thing like i do uh a lot of people do it limited run uses shopify uh analog has reiterated that it is selling the po pocket during a global pandemic which has ma uh, made logistics more complicated this is certainly not a typical product launch no it's it's not but that's not also an excuse when you could have just communicated yeah you can say that ahead of time say hey we're going to have a certain amount to me that sounds kind of like a even a if brush you off I would have preferred they said that they said the amount of, amount that are coming out in the first batch give people an expectation. Then we, you know, even though you're gonna have people scalping, it, the scalper. Thing I we'll understand keeping some of that stuff secret, but, but like I said, just say just say it's gonna be. It's because I'm pandemic. not saying the fucking word. Um, <laughs> I saw you getting ready. I was gonna say limited. So speaking of the scalpers, I, and I thank God they did two per, because if it was like someone that ordered fifty or a hundred of these things. Um, God, that'd be a I disaster. I was also going to say though, if if you're going to but, make the if you're going to make the statement that this is not a typical product launch, maybe just let people have one right now. I mean, let 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 that person make that tough decision at checkout whether or not they're going to be a collector or actually going to play it instead of buying two or a fucking scalp. You can let people buy two later. Well, and people are still scalping; they're buying one. They're they're scalping it. So this is what I'm going to say. Uh, I think it would do a lot of goodwill. And this is simple PR. If 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 Analog just came out and said, please, you know, get the information, report us the seller information to people that are, you know, scalpers, because uh, people are trying to sell these now for twelve hundred dollars, seven fifty. Here's the bit, the good news though. These are all against eBay's terms of service. You can report all these because eBay's terms of service says you can you can sell something that you pre-ordered. You have to ship it within thirty days. It has to be guaranteed. You get it in thirty days. Yeah, this doesn't so, come out until May twenty twenty one. So this, all of those all of those pre-orders on eBay are in violation. They're all in violation. I have a feeling that hopefully Alan behind the scenes is going to shut them down. But I do hope they go a step further, which I think something that Limited Run has done before when they've seen scalpers, they just ban them. It canceled their pre-orders. Yeah, they put them back in the till. Do that. You announce that. Uh, analog, uh, tremendous goodwill. If you, even you just do that, like okay, we realize there's a problem, and then you maybe you put up. Obviously, you say, hey, we have a small batch that's going to go up for sale, and just Limit do that. Limit it to one. Yeah. Until and until we up. get to a, a point where you know the second pre when you announce the time for the second pre-order batch, because I, I have a feeling that they want they needed the money to put this up so they get the the amount they were going to do. I get that they don't want to be be on on, but nine months in advance that's a long way out for a pre-order. It is. Um, it's a long way. If they wait to maybe like December, but I have a feeling that they had probably a, a limited number of slots production slots. We, we make sure we get them now. Make sure you get them now. We get something out in May. Yeah, there yeah. very much could have been a now or never from the manufacturer in sure. terms of, you know, get get this scheduled up. Because I, I, I've not dealt with Chinese manufacturing, but I have a feeling it's like, yeah, this is the amount we're going to offer you. If you don't take it, this company will probably take it because 
you know, it's a pandemic and stuff's way behind. We're like, this year is like a blown year for lots of stuff. And they're still make, pumping out, you know, s uh, switches and, 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 and Microsoft consoles and Sony. So you got to get in there. You're a smaller company, even though analog is making money uh, hand over fist with this stuff. They're still a small company in regards to the big boys and, and other companies that are manufacturing other products. So um, hopefully they bring this news back to the, the plant and be like, hey, listen, guys. Can you do more for us? Because we right. can all make a lot more money. We can do 10 times the amount of these, you know, and get these out. In my head, I was trying to figure out how many people actually ordered one of these uh, versus the interest. And I'm guessing it was probably somewhere in, in the four digits under 10,000. That's that's what my guess is. Something around there probably got this, maybe 5,000 or I was, so. I, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I don't. That's just my guess. I don't know. If, if we just want to play guessing games i yeah my guess would be five no more than ten thousand probably minimum five thousand was what so, they had something in that three to five thousand maybe i mean the amount of interest you know, let's put it this way you couldn't do all this hype and then say oh we're only selling a thousand of these that'd be like what are you doing you know if you did all that sure that, well that, that, and, and i think a thousand based on the reaction would have sold out even faster i mean uh, you have to look at how I, I think it can only process so fast too. I think you're looking at at least five thousand if we're talking eight to ten minutes. Sure, I truly believe that they were not expecting that much um, interest at the start. But then again, I'd say, well, look at look at your social media. That's one thing I'd say. Like that's these are insane well, numbers. Look at your prior stuff too. Yeah, and this was probably a lot bigger than that because I yeah you know, the Mega SG came out I was like yeah that was cool. it wasn't this hype for the Mega SG. No, the last time something uh, was this hype from them was the Super NT, and that just goes with how popular uh, those respective consoles are. The sure. Super Nintendo is always going to be more popular than the Genesis. But this I don't agree to, with that. But it, this I mean, seemed to hit people in a certain way because the handheld. I think this was like. This is truly the first way you could. This is the first product like this where I was like, okay, this isn't like a fucking Retron, uh, you know, to play Game Boy games on a console. This is something. The portable thing grabs people a bit more than just a console. Well, and I think the yeah. look. I think the look did something too. It's an incredibly nice looking console. It's, sleek. it's very sleek, but it also does not differentiate very much from what people remember from their youth. This is sure. one of those things that is yeah. very slickly designed. Um, with psychology in mind. Yeah, it looks like a this, Game Boy. This this is your childhood, but no one's going to laugh at you for carrying it around. Yeah, we talked about before. It's it's a it's a great combination of a of a Game Boy Pocket and like in a in a, in a, in a in an SP. It's yeah. like a, it's a perfect hybrid of it. So it's like it hits everyone right there. And I and thank you again, Analog. I, I will give you a hand job for the concave and convex buttons. I thank you for doing that. I, I'm in love with with you for, for for including that there. So all right, I'm hoping um I'm hoping that the second batch. Uh, pre-orders come out and it's announced that hey it's a lot bigger but hopefully it's not like five months behind this one but and even if it's not bigger just tell people what they should yeah, be expecting when it comes time it's all about expectations when it comes to products if you, you know. tell someone ahead of time, hey, there's a good chance you might not get one this time around but there'll be more, there's going to you, be a lot less anger. You, you cushion the blow that's all marketing and PRs. You cushion the blow. It's all about just managing people, making sure they don't go off and like, oh, because like, a lot of people are like, oh my God, next May, I'm going to be playing this now. It's like, oh no, my Christmas is gone. My right. May, Christmas in May. So, <sighs> anyways, it's going to be a painfully long wait. Oh, Ian's, Ian's, well, you can help with your Yoikai kids. You can help you with your future, your future Zines. Yeah.